Today on Connect FM, I'm so excited to welcome my first guest on the mixtape. He was born in Sri Lanka and raised in London. He's collaborated with the likes of The Prophecy, Mickey Singh, Rackstar, Vidya Vox, and of course, Guru Randawa on the global smash hit Suit Suit. Award-winning singer-songwriter, music producer, a multi-instrumentalist as well. I'd like to welcome Arjun on the show. How you doing, man? Thank you, man. How you doing? Sick intro. Big intro, thank you. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Um, all right. Been a... How's the how's the twenty how's twenty twenty been for you so far with the pandemic and the lockdown in the UK? It's been a been a very very strange year. Honestly, I think this this time of year normally would be would be kind of quite busy touring kind of uh, at the time mm-hmm. of the year, you know, summer. So weird to have, have no melas, no shows, no club shows. You know, it's quite quite a quite a weird vibe. But been uh, been in the studio at home trying to trying to make yeah. make an album at the moment. So yeah. Been, been cool. getting kind of more on the creative side. I, I did want to talk about one thing. I did see an Instagram uh, Instagram post of you flipped upside down on a, on a sofa, on a couch, okay. right? And I think it yeah. was during the, the UK heat wave. And as soon as I saw the picture, I knew exactly what the mood was because for some reason we all think that that that, that position is going to make us feel a little bit cooler <laughs> when we're flipped upside down. <laughs> And I and I think yeah, you'd be used to it because you because you were born in Sri Lanka and you toured the world. I thought a little bit of UK yeah. heat wouldn't wouldn't be too much for you, but I guess the heat wave was pretty crazy uh, a couple couple weeks ago there. Yeah, I'm like a fake Sri Lankan. I I, I can't handle the heat. The heat heat's too much for me. So like <laughs> I like I think did you guys do Celsius or so for us it was like 38 Celsius there, which is like yeah, and something. We do Celsius. So. Yeah, yeah, we it's do pretty, Celsius as well. But we do up uh, Canada, of course. Yeah. So um yeah, so it's pretty hot. And then it's been really cold, so I mean, very like crazy, weird kind of thunderstorms. Then it's like, like then it's like really hot. Then it's raining. So anyway, yeah. But it's been a weird month or two. But um, yeah, it's been, I think for me, kind of being being at home has been nice. Seeing family more, seeing you know friends more, which is nice because I think you know touring is my main kind of uh, you know thing at this point normally. So yeah, yeah. I want to take right. it back a little bit before the rise on YouTube. Um, what were your inspira- inspirations when you got into music, and was there like a family inspiration or influence within the home? Yeah, so, so my mom is into music. Uh, she, she plays piano. She's she's very into like jazz and soul music. So that was, that was a big influence on me. Uh, growing up, I was very into R and B, kind of like old school, like two thousands R and B. People like Craig David and Usher, and kind of like UK urban music. So I think that that was my main influence growing up. Um, mm-hmm. Then my friends were very into Bollywood. You know, girls I would date were Indian, and they, they were more into kind of Bollywood and Punjabi music. So that kind of was. I got into Indian Indian culture more, and then yeah. yeah, I think I've always had the kind of the kind of blend of the two. I've always I've always loved the Eastern stuff, but also the Western stuff, and it, it makes sense, I guess, to kind of merge the two in the music as well. So um, I've always had you know a very strong South Asian influence in my music. I think so. Um, yeah, that's what's been there. And then when we look at yeah. like the South Asian R and B or like that fusion music. Uh, the likes of mm-hmm. Jay Sean and Raga kind of paved the way. But when they were when they were releasing music in like the very early 2000s, they were doing like the traditional PR, the sending out media packs and things like that. But what made you yeah. kind of gravitate towards YouTube and put all your music there and kind of use that as your portfolio? Because I think you, that was still in the beginning, a uh, few couple of years of YouTube too, when you when you first started on there. Yeah, oh. I think I think I was part of that generation that I think. YouTube was just blowing up. I think it was like 2010, 2011. Um, yeah. YouTube was becoming a really, a really big thing. And at the time, I was a producer, so I was actually kind of producing for other artists. Um, I w- my aim was was not to be a singer, so I would kind of take. I kind of was doing like kind of mashups and covers and taking Indian songs and like English versions of them. And that that was kind of how I began in my career. But it's always like a, from a production angle. So I take a song and I kind of reproduce the beat, and then I write like an English kind of part to it. So that was always more like a production experiment for me. Um, but then, yeah, I think to me, like, I guess I can, like, I, I, I realized I could, I could sing and write songs too. Production was my, was my first love. And then it uh, became, you know, writing songs and, and singing later. So, yeah. So, so what kind of artists were you producing for at the time? Were they like South Asian artists or like R&B acts or like before you got into the singing? Yeah, a mixture, kind of like very, very new up and coming kind of urban artists, like rappers, singers, mm-hmm. kind of garage MCs in the UK. Uh, I was just kind of starting, starting out, you know, had my my own little kind of studio at home. Uh, but it was always my passion, honestly. Like production was always like, I mean, making beats was always my my main interest, uh, you know, growing up. Uh, I was quite shy. Like I wasn't really into like being on stage. I wasn't really, you know, looking to be the front of the whole thing. I was 
happy being behind the scenes. And then something changed in me and I became opposite. So, <laughs> so yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, because you're, yeah, that's one, that's you're, cool. one of the, you're one of those artists that when they go on tour, like when you did do tours, um, I know you came to Vancouver mm-hmm. as well. I know you did Toronto. I need the, you, you did the North American circuit as well. Um, during that time, yeah, yeah. It was, you, were, you were like one of those artists that was like not shy of doing uh, like a meet and greet with the fans. Like you do your show, of course, mm-hmm. but like before mm-hmm. or after the show or like a different event would be a meet and greet. And that, I think that was yeah. like an important part because I think your fan base really appreciate that and really connected with you at that time. So how important did you feel like having that interaction was? Like whether it's online comments coming in or you responding to those <laughs> or actually doing these meet and greets, like how important is that? Yeah, I think, you know, I mean, touring the world, I feel like I would, I would love to go meet different different cultures, you know, people from, from Canada, from America and kind of compare notes and w- w- what it's like to be a Daisy in, in the West. Um, right. But I always, and I've always used to love that fan feedback, you know, whether it came to kind of choosing which song to remix, you know, which which style of music to do. I'd always want to hear that input and have that feedback as well. So definitely very important right. to me for sure. 100%. So now mm. we go to one of your notable ca- collaborations with Guru Randawa, Suit Suit. Mm. I know you guys just celebrated mm. four years of the original. Um, yes. How did that How did that collab come? And then I know it got picked up for a film afterwards in the medium. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell us about how that was and uh, working with Irfan Khan as well for the for the second version. But let's go back to the original. Yeah. Like, how did the original come about? Yeah, so I actually met Guru uh, maybe like five years before that. So actually we did a song called Same Girl in 2012. A, right. uh, a very different kind of song, like a, kind of like a mid-tempo R&B song. Um, I actually mm-hmm. didn't, know, didn't, didn't know who he was. He was at the time, he was just kind of on the come up in India, in Punjab. Um, came, right. came to my studio in London. And I just thought, I thought his vocals were like insane. I was like, this, this guy is crazy. Like, I mean, how is he not, not, not bigger? And then um, mm-hmm. I kind of uh, featured him on my song, Same Girl, in 2012. And then right. we became friends. We were obviously in touch when he was in London. He stayed with me and I, I stayed with him in, in India too. So, and then Soup basically was a song which T-Series actually had had kind of planned planned out. Um, we had two songs, weirdly enough. We had two songs which were kind of torn between Soup, Soup and this other song. Um, yeah. And we weren't sure which to release actually. So weirdly enough, um, the other song like hasn't been released still. Um, but, oh, okay. but, but yeah, so Soup was, uh, I mean, I think the concept was, was a very strong one. I mean, the aim was to kind of just basically say that, you know, um, to like a daisy girl, be, be be proud of who you are, you know, kind of be proud to rock that sari or that sarah kameez or you know whatever it is that that the, you want to wear. So I think I think that that, that that kind of that message caught on. I think the hashtag like suit suit caught on. I mean, you know, on Instagram caught on as well. Um, so right. whenever Indian girl was wearing wearing like a sari, she'd post you know with with a hashtag suit suit caught So I think that helped a lot for sure. Um, I think it also fits very well into weddings and into clubs you know it's a very kind of party song so i think it, it popped off basically and um and then yeah and then it was put into a movie as you mentioned uh in the yeah. medium which was a, a big honor for us i mean obviously to shoot with irfan khan who was yeah, of one of my favorite actors and unfortunately obviously now just passed away but um massive honor you know to, to be to be part of his movie um and a great film actually if you haven't seen it in the medium yeah, but actually a really, it was a really film. good film um, so yeah, so that was that was the experience um, of Suit Suit, the film version, and then obviously Guru and I have obviously been in touch a lot since then. Hopefully, that other song will come out at some point. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, hopefully, the <laughs> series comes out with that and figures that one out as well. Um, yeah. And then your debut album came out in 2018, uh, "Come mm-hmm. to Home." So that was your debut, right? Of, of yes. original uh, set of original songs. Uh, you, yes. Uh, even collabed with Prophecy on that one with the track "Alone." He's a Canadian yeah. boy as well. Um, so how did that how did that come about? And like, can fans expect another album? I think you already uh, answered that because now being in lockdown, you have been working on a bunch of music. So um, how do you yeah. feel about the whole like dropping singles versus dropping a body of work? I think for me it was important to have a body of work at some point. Obviously, I've been in the game for quite a long time and I hadn't really released like a like a body of work. I think with the, with, with singles, you're always trying to chase that hit song, that big big song that's going to work on radio or in the club. But with an album, you can experiment and have different styles and different. You know, can have more album track which is basically the songs where you can explore you know talk about you know yourself a bit more and fans yeah. can get to know you more i think the album was definitely important for me because i'm a big r&b fan so the first kind of fully english um apart from that one song with prophecy which had punjabi um yeah it was a fully english fully, fully english album so that, that was important to me because obviously my roots have always been in r&b and english music so to have, have a, a major label universal music uh released that, that album for me it was huge obviously i've been signed with T-Series for like four or five years doing the Indian, Indian stuff 
So for me, it was nice to have that change and kind of do something for the kind of more Western market as well. So yeah, it was definitely a, a very, uh, you know, very important to me to have like a, 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 a body of work that has kind of more kind of depth to it and not just kind of chasing those, those, those big hit songs for sure. And now you're working on your next body of work, like during the lockdown, like how, mm-hmm. what kind of styles do people expect or like what kind of vibes are you feeling right now during the lockdown and what, what kind of vibes are you, what are you creating during that time? So, you know, weirdly, like, despite being locked down, it's, it's quite like a party album. It's a very upbeat album. It's got a very kind of right. world music vibe. So, I mean, I've been hearing, like, a lot of Afro music, a lot of Afro beats, a lot of, like, um, uh, soca, Caribbean music, mm-hmm. which I know you, you guys love in Canada. Um, so, I yeah. think it's very world influenced. Like, it's got a very, it's got a lot of Punjabi and Hindi stuff in there, but it's also got, like, a very kind of, like, mix, mixture of world sounds. Uh, I produce most of it myself, so maybe, like, over half the album is produced by me. Um, yeah. and written most of it myself as well. So that, I think that's been fun for me, kind of, because I, I, t- I kind of took a break from production for a few years, and I was working with, with yeah. uh, other guys. But and being, me being a producer, definitely had time to, to kind of get back in the studio and you know and update all my sounds and kind of get my stuff in order, which, which has been important to me. So definitely a very, very fun experience, you kind know, of being. Also, I guess having no touring has allowed me to focus my entire energy on on music, you know. So that, yeah. that that's been a, a blessing as well. So. Yeah, any collabs on that, um, or is it like a straight solo project? Yeah, so there's the song with Mickey, obviously Tingo is on there, um, which has been released already, so oh, with Mickey Sane. Yeah. Um, there's a song with Mumsy Stranger, who's a UK artist. Yeah. Uh, um, there's a song with Ezu, who's, who's another UK artist. There's, there's a few features on that. Um, yeah. One that I haven't fully finished off, so I won't mention them yet, but yeah, there's... Yeah, no worries. There's a couple of, but it's, it's, mainly, it's mainly me. It's, it's obviously, um, I mean... I, I think for me, one thing that I've learned recently is that I'd like to sing more of my own Hindi and Punjabi before I'd have to feature someone to sing the Hindi and the Punjabi parts. But I mean, right. the aim with this album is to sing more of it myself. I have a Hindi teacher, so I'm, I, at the moment I'm trying to learn to speak <laughs> Hindi, Hindi better. Yeah. So Punjabi is Punjabi is tough, a tough one. I think if you if you don't have the right style of voice, it's very hard to nail the Punjabi. Hindi is a bit easier for me because I have quite a soft voice, so that's right. kind of suits my my style better. But Punjabi, I'm trying to. So let's see how. how yeah. it goes. But, you, but you've got good friends around you. you got people like Jazz Dami, who's fluent. Exactly. And uh, you yeah. also got yeah. Mickey as well. So you've got the support there from your friends mm-hmm. as well in the, in the industry as well. Um, speaking of like Bollywood and Hindi tracks as well, you took um, one of the, the biggest songs this, this year Love Aj- from the film Love Ajkal, the track Shy. Yes. And uh, you did your English rendition of it, which is now, out now on uh, Sony Music India. Tell us a bit about that track. And like, it kind of reminds you of you going back to the, you know, doing those covers. Uh, where you were kind of like going back to those days when you were originally on YouTube and you kind of brought that vibe back, if, if I'm not wrong. Then. Yeah, I guess, I mean, I was kind of forced to shoot home videos. So I shot the videos in my bedroom, <laughs> in my right. kitchen. So um, I guess I had to go back to that that old school style of, of home videos. Um, and I actually had to learn how to use a camera on my own as well, which was pretty, pretty mm-hmm. tricky. So having to focus the camera and then imagine where I was going to stand and it would be out of focus and have to shoot like other times. So, Quite a traumatic experience, actually. <laughs> actually, didn't do that, but um, <laughs> but it was. It definitely felt like it was like being being you know back in the old school YouTube days, which, which is fun. And I've always yeah. I've always loved that formula, that the Hindi kind of fusion formula has always been you know my favorite, I guess. So being able mm-hmm. to kind of go back to do that is, is is nice. But obviously, the next aim now is to, is to try and focus on my own original songs. Shire actually was picked up by Tony. So a similar yeah. story to how I got signed to the T series. Actually, was I was doing covers on my own channel. And they loved them, and they were like, "Listen, when you come and do it on a on our platform." So, similar story with the Sony with with the Shire. Uh, because you had, you had originally, my, my yeah, because you had originally put it, out, put it out first, right? You had put it out first, exactly. and then Sony yeah. picked it up after, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I think it's you know having the marketing and the extra push of a label is always a blessing. I think you know in India, especially this, you know there's a much bigger reach that a T series or a Sony can can can. Uh, give you I think so but at the same time I think this year the aim is to try and do, do some stuff on my own I've, I've always had a major label kind of backing me but I think this year the aim mm-hmm. is to try and try the non-label route and see and see how that goes as well so the yeah, next so, few songs so, will probably be more uh, on my own on my own label perfect so what can people expect for the rest of the year and and I mean the year moving forward as well in 2021 like what's the next what's going on next I know it's kind of hard to predict because in the in the way that we're in in the whole pandemic, you kind of kind of make yeah. plans and then they change and then you make plans and they change again. But like, what's yeah. your like what's your projections for the year ahead? So I'm trying to do a, a, a drive-in concert. So uh, actually in, in UK we're, we're we're trialing these these kind of like drive-in like 
like a drive-in cinema, but with with us on stage, basically. So we're going to see how that goes. Uh, we're not allowed to do public concerts. I think Canada's opened up a bit more than UK. Uh, we're not allowed yeah. to do public shows yet. So um, as in, we have to distance still. So uh, yeah. shows-wise, that's unfortunately that's basically it. I think probably driving concerts for the time being. Maybe maybe we'll start doing like international shows as well um, if, if we're allowed to. And yeah. obviously, in terms of song releases, the album's coming out hopefully very soon. I'm dropping a few singles before that. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe one or two more collaborations in between, um, and and some more covers. Yeah, that's basically it. I think I think you know. I, I, hopefully, hopefully by next year, things will be back to normal. I'll, I'll do like a a world tour, come back to Canada, do Surrey and you know Toronto again. So I want yeah. I want you to announce. I'm gonna drop this track just after this interview. So if you can uh, introduce the track, Chayad, right? So you can uh, if you can introduce that and then. Um, and yeah, that would cool. be perfect, man. And uh, and and also, if you can let everybody know uh, where they can catch you on Instagram and your handles and things like that, so anyone that is new yeah. to your music, that can they can check you out on that as well. Yeah, so it's Arjun Artist A R J U N Artist on Instagram. This is my English English cover of the song Shayad. Check it out. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. All right. Cheers. That's it. We're good, man.